The goal for today is to hit a bunch of YOLO lifts, a YOLO deadlift, and then a YOLO bench, and then a YOLO post meat cheat meal. The purpose of this is I finally got down to the weight that I want. I had the meat, and now I just wanna have an all day fun lift, no pressure or anything, just kinda take some heavy ass weights for a ride, and then finally get a well-deserved cheat meal in my system, and to kinda just relax for a week before I jump back on another serious program, but this time, not powerlifting. If I could deadlift over 540 and bench over 340, which are pretty much the numbers I hit at the meet, I'll be very, very happy. Because I haven't peaked again, and it's just literally riding the peak into the meet, and I'm just kind of extending a little bit and just going for some YOLO numbers. I was actually both good. Fuck. Uh, 545 then. Deadlift. You pause deadlift? Yeah, so I'm working on technique these days where you gotta pause it between the shin for like two uh, seconds. Uh -huh. And then you bend your knees after to work the quads and then go back to working the glutes. It's very advanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too many people know about that. How'd it go? Uh, I felt like my back is broken on 5,000 places. But for a gym PR, that's a PR. I, I've never pulled over 550 at, uh, at like 183. So that's pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, now, I guess for 2018, the goal is to try to get 600 at 183. No more crazy bulking, no more crazy dieting, or any of that kind of stuff. Bench is like that girl that was fine as hell in high school, right? You know that one girl I'm talking about? The one that's out of your league. You're like, yeah, she's fucking fine. And she was like 25 when she was, she looks 25 when she was 16. Then you run into her in college, and you're like, what the fuck happened to you? It was like that. Bench is my shit, you know, like I'm strong at bench. I, I get on the bench, 135 feels all right, 225 feels all right, and then 315, which is college now, I'm like, what the fuck happened to you? Usually I smoke the fuck out of you. The goal is double body weight, so I'm 183. If I can hit anything over 366, I'll be really, really happy. Um, I was trying to go for that at the meet, but I couldn't get it, so. If I could at least accomplish it here, then the next time, I think that's what that's what the goal is. It's always trying to get your gym PRs on the platform. That's like one of the hardest things ever. And so, 366, 370. Honestly, the warm up doesn't feel too good. Um, it feels kind of heavy. It could be I'm cold, the bar's cold. And uh, I probably did peak properly for Saturday. So now it's probably a slightly on the decline, but it's fine. It's just a yellow lift, it's just for fun. There's no pressure. I don't have to worry about what, what slot I am or anything like that. So I'm just having fun. One, two, I'm actually kind of scared 
So I was thinking about um, the meat, and what's pretty interesting is um, my first attempt was 325, I smoked it, right? And my butt came off. My second attempt was 341, and that felt pretty light. And what's crazy is under pausing and under like judges and all that stuff, the 341 feels lighter than 335 feels today. Which is kind of interesting. I don't know if I'm just weaker right now or whatever, but it's still a YOLO day, so I'm gonna just go for 365 bucket. But uh, it's, it was just something that I just, I was thinking like under my own conditions, for sure I was gonna be way stronger. So I don't gotta wait for anybody. I don't have to pause, but it's actually not the case. It's pretty interesting. Go for it one more time. Did I get it? Yeah. I got it right. I knew it. I think I think Russ grabbed it too early. It was on its way up. Don't you hate it when that happens when your gym partner always grabs it way too early? <laughs> <laughs> I heard Russ grabbed too early. I was like, I was like, what? And he like got it. Bro? <laughs> I was like, I started to feel bad. I was like, I was like, bro, you fight it. Nah, hell no. I feel like my car's back down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> And 315 with no pause felt like shit. 335 felt even more like shit. And since I was running out of energy, I was like, you know what? I just gotta go for that YOLO 365, which is one pound shy of a double body weight. And um, I I hit it, and you know it was moving. And Russ just came in and he just pulled it off my hand. I, I think I could have got it, and I don't know why he did that, but I, I could have got it. So now I'll never know if I could have hit double body weight today. Just kidding. Uh, it wasn't moving at all. <laughs> it went halfway and it was just stuck there and I was like, fuck, I'm fucked. Russ picked it up, good thing he's strong. I think he like curled it with his pinkies or something. Came off and uh, those are my two YOLO lifts. I had a really good time, super fun. Um, I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be hitting heavy weights again because now I got that movie that I gotta work on I've been telling you about. So I gotta get into the wrestling shape, gotta get my mobility up, get into athletic training. And I think it'll be a really good break from like strict powerlifting training. Am I gonna stop powerlifting? Nope, I'm probably still gonna do a meet once a year, but now on to the next thing. And that's what it means to, and to me, that's what uh, being an athlete's all about. Trying all kinds of stuff, being well-rounded, and doing everything. And now, it's time for the well-deserved cheat meal. So I actually don't know where we're going for the cheat meal, so we're gonna have to see. We're at this place that I don't even know what it's called. Um, it's called... <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. So I found it on Yelp, and I was in the mood for Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. When I think cheat meal, I always think hella cheese, hella red meat, and just a ton of shit packed on together. So that means burgers, or pizzas, or Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Something that's just like a ton of like fat and protein and carbs mixed in. So I went on Yelp, and I found this place called, um, I just had a Philly cheesesteak, this popped up. This one's called Figueroa Philly, and it had 800, almost 900 reviews, four and a half stars. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna come here. So it's Figueroa Philly, and every place, every, anytime I go somewhere, I always go, what's your number one dish? Like, what are you known for? Because I don't want to go to a place that's known for pizza, and I buy, like, the salad or something, you know? So they told me the famous Figueroa Philly, and I got it with Cheese Whiz, because um, 
That's how they do it in Philly, which I had in Philly. And uh, you get to pour it all over the meat and it tastes bomb. And I also got chili cheese fries to top it off. The only thing that this whole thing is missing that I always like to get is root beer float. I don't think they have ice cream. I didn't even bother to ask, but I did get root beer. And this is my cheat meal for today. This is probably gonna be a good two, three thousand calories in one meal. Oh shit, it's hot as fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, son. This thing is hot. Wowie, wow, wow, woo, wow, wow. Woo, wee, woo, wow, wow, wee, wow. Oh shit, it's falling apart. Oh damn. Oh damn. Damn. Oh damn. This is hotter than a mother bro. Oh, that's good though. This was very satisfying as a cheap meal choice. Um, and it's just good to take a break from all my meal preps. So I'm enjoying this. I'm definitely gonna bury, and I'm definitely gonna savor this. But in a week, I'm gonna be back on my diet and it's back on the grind. But in the meantime, this feels awesome. I'm gonna eat now.